Through my life, I've always considered myself to be different. I don't like to conform to what others believe is normal and what they think is cool. Being your own person empowers you to be creative in your own way and allows you to form your own opinions. Throughout school, I have never been able to factor myself into any one social group, and I am not a person that casts judgment upon others based on what they look like. I don't care your religion, ethnic background, your interests, or your beliefs, because at the end of the day, those things do not matter. What matters is who you are and if you are happy with yourself as a person. The key to inner happiness is being accepting of others, but also being, a, being accepting of who you are. If you don't accept who you really are, you will never be able to focus on bettering yourself. Once you master yourself, your skills and abilities will be able to reach their maximum potential. Many people tend to resort to materialistic things for happiness and may start to believe that happiness can simply be bought. It does not matter what shoes you are wearing, what car you are driving, or how popular you are in school. Inner happiness has no price tag. Confidence and acceptance are free, and with little practice, anyone can master themselves. Now, by telling you all to make yourself happy does not mean you should be selfish. Selfishness is an evil trait to possess, no matter who you are. What I am suggesting is that you learn to open up to people's opinions and needs. When you open up to others as ideals, it shows that you accept them and that you are interested in what they have to offer. Just by opening up and engaging with your peers may make all the difference in how they see and treat you as a person. Once you become more accepting of others, you will find out that everyone has something special to offer and that they are more than the meets the eye. Everyone has their own hidden personality that may surprise others. Many people hide their true personality with a mask when they are around certain groups of people. For example, when I'm at when I am around certain people, I tend to hide my sporadic and energetic personality. This may make me seem like a shy and unsocial person, but in reality I try to always be in a happy mood, be optimistic, and have a smile on my face. When you aren't your true self, some decisions you make may not be truly what you want. These decisions may affect your future in ways you cannot imagine. I would like to challenge everybody in this classroom to be yourself. Don't let other people's opinions change the way you act around them because at the end of the day, what they say and think should not affect what you do in life. What makes a difference is the confidence you have in yourself, that you can do anything you put your mind to. Be successful in your own way and have the willpower to make all of your dreams a reality. We are all ending our high school journey very soon, and almost everyone can admit that the ride was great, but the real world is in front of us, and it's time to start the next chapter of our lives. For some, it may have been a gruesome four years of high school, but for me, it was very beneficial. All these years of taking tests, writing essays, and researching books has led up to this turning point in our lives. We need to take what we have learned in high school and apply it to the real world. Everyone in this room has potential, and all you have to do is believe in yourself, because there are, there are no limitations to the mind except those which we have knowledge. Thank you, Dr. Harold, for three great years of English. I bid you all good luck in your future ventures, and thank you all for making senior year one of the best yet.